hey everybody and welcome back to my channel i want to come on tonight in solidarity for kamala harris and put on my pearls oh these are not real pearls so don't judge me okay but the pearls are on but honestly i came on because very quickly i want to come on and share some thoughts that i had on how starting a business improved my credit score um, I got a lot of love on one of my last videos, and that was make a fortune with credit. And for some reason, the last video I made, which was actually stressing the steps that you need to do to get your credit in order, it did not get a well reception. So go check out that video. I'll make sure I link it in this one. But anyway, so I want to explain how starting a business improved my credit and why it's so important. Um, first of all, my credit has always been around 680 maybe. And what I learned after I started my business is I started my business and I got a business checking account. And when I opened my business checking accounts, the banks actually gave me credit cards. They gave me a $10,000 credit limit. I've since found out the reason being is because when you open a checking account, a business checking account. Let me reiterate, when you open a business checking account, and that means that you have your business license, you will be able to receive, based on your own personal credit, a credit card. So I received three credit cards. I think, in fact, one was 10000 the other two were nine hundred. No, sorry, $9,500. So that's almost $30,000 in credit that I was able to receive. The other benefit of the credit cards and the reason I went ahead and used them was that they had incentive, incentives. So one card had a $300, I think, cash back credit. Another one had a $250 credit. I think the third one did not have anything like that. All the checking accounts, um, didn't charge me fees for six months. I believe I didn't have to pay interest on any of the cards for the first eight months. Well, sorry, 12 months. So with that being said, I was able to buy things for my business, which is YouTube. And I was able to pay with it. So I should say pay for it with my own personal money. So basically the logic is normally when you're starting a business, you're using your own money as capital, right? But in using your own money as capital capital to fund your business, you're not actually building business credit. So business credit in the long run, the benefits of it are that you're able to get loans. You'll already be set up for processing transactions. You'll be able to differentiate any type of sales that you get on your business or any money that is made. So of course, I haven't gotten that far because my channel, although I've been on YouTube for 10 years, is still really, really young. I really started producing videos heavily and consistently last year, but I'm really excited about this still. And that is the one thing I want to share with y'all is that if you get a business credit card, it's going to improve your personal credit score. Now, let me tell you why. The reason why it's going to improve your personal credit score is because of utility. If you watch a lot of videos on credit card utility, you'll learn that Personal credit is basically evaluated on the amount of money that you spend in relationship into the amount of credit that you have. So if you have a $5,000 limit and you're spending $5,000, that is 100% utility. If you have a $5,000 limit and you're spending $2,500, that's a 50% utilization rate. Most people in their mindset, because what they've been taught, try to keep a utility rate or, or to say a utilization rate around 30 percent so on a five thousand dollar card that's going to be fifteen hundred dollars however for some reason this does not always give you the best standing with your personal credit score so what i've since learned being that i was no longer using my personal credit to buy things for my business i use my business credit to purchase things for my business so my personal credit cards, guess what? I have probably right now, and I have some receipts also. I have to show you them because I looked at Credit Karma, which is something I told you to do in the last video. You got to sign up for Credit Karma. I looked at Credit Karma, and I think I have right now a 
either a 1% utilization rate on all my credit cards, which is amazing. I have one credit card and the reason I prefer this credit card is my PayPal account. My PayPal credit card, I believe, gives me 2% cash, 2% cash back on all of my purchases. So that means I put everything that I buy on my PayPal credit card. The reason being, I've disciplined myself where when I purchase things on my credit card, I'm not carrying a balance. I pay off my monthly balance, so any monies that I spend, if I, if I spend $2,000 and I got 2% back, that's $40. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think about things like utility bills, water bills, anything in your household, groceries, gas, $40 is a tank of gas. And for me, that's two tanks of gas because I don't have to use premium fuel. I mean, I'm one of the lucky ones. But regardless of what I'm saying, if you're disciplined enough, you can put all of your personal, all your personal expenses on your personal card. You're no longer spending money on your personal card to buy stuff for your business. So you're getting a twofer. You're getting to use less credit on your personal and you're getting to bill credit on your business. It's a win-win. So as I was saying, how it affected me is that, like I said, I always had mid 600 scores and I have a lot of credit cards and I don't really have a lot of credit card balances. I don't keep balances on my card like I was explaining, but I have certain cards for certain for certain expenses that I make or certain purchases that I make. So everything that I have is aligned based on the rewards that I'm going to receive and based on my personal lifestyle. So really and truly, I want you to think about if you're in a position to get credit, don't be afraid of credit. You just got to be responsible. So as long as you're responsible, you should be getting credit. And if you really want to go to the next level of life, you got to open a business and you got to fund that business. OK, don't wait around and say one day I want to do this in the third. I keep speaking to certain people and I ask them questions and I don't know if they're just afraid. But I mean, this this stuff is real. This is not any woo woo stuff. So maybe I'm digressing a little bit. So let me get back to what I was saying. How my business credit made my personal credit go up is that I no longer had a 20 or 30 percent utilization rate on even just that PayPal card okay are you following me so basically well I, let me take that back I probably had a 20 percent utilization rate on that PayPal credit card now with that being said if I put everything that I'm buying for my business on my business credit card this makes my score go up because on my personal side, it looks like I'm not spending as much money. I'm still spending money because I'm buying stuff for my business. But in paper or on paper, it looks like the opposite. So now I have pretty much 780, I think maybe the last time I checked was 760 and it goes up and down like not every bureau reports the same amount of points. I don't know how any of that works. I'm not a credit expert in that res regard, but it goes up and it fluctuates two or three points each time that I pay something or I buy something. And really the biggest hit for me right now is that I bought two cars. And if I had known all of this information prior to buying those cars, I could have easily offset one of those purchases by just simply doing some credit modifications with my daughter's credit but I mean we didn't know and it is what it is but right now you are in a position if you need to have trade lines added to your credit so that enables you to purchase something on your own to build your own credit that means your interest rate is going to be less that means you're going to have to put less money down it's just going to put you in a whole better a better position better position please forgive the accent and I'm excited about this. So anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you tonight is how my business credit increased my personal credit. So I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.